Well hello, welcome back to a brand new episode of Dead or Spud, I'm an Uncle Mac, and um, today's movie we're going for came out in 1988 and is called The Kiss. Um, this one was actually recommended by uh, Jason Garcia, thank you very much for the recommendation, so this episode is dedicated to you my friend. Um, the premise of this is after the death of her mother, a teenage girl is faced with bizarre supernatural occurrences when her mother's estranged sister arrives and begins to infiltrate her in her father's lives. And it's called The Kiss. Um, the tagline is, Aunt Felice has a nasty way of showing her affection. And it's called The Kiss. She's pretty hot from what I've seen on the trailer. So it'd be like, one kiss me anytime, you know what I mean? But um, technically incest... We'll see, we'll see with that one. Because that's, that's where it's like a bit... Uh, um, have you seen this film? If you have, let me know what you thought of it. Um, any films to recommend? Let me know. Otherwise... Let's just get into this one. The Kiss from 1988. Uh, dedicated to Jason. Nice one, mate. Well, they bored in like elephant tusks and all shit like that. So this is the train in Africa, I think. Is this going to be like fucking um, a bit like Brain Dead where the monkey's like infected? And, like, I doubt it, but you know what I mean? They should have. Well, 1963, all right then. Get her out of here. Dad, uh, get him out of here. It's like, translator, please. Like, he's probably telling me something incredibly important there. Fucking hell. And also, they've attempted, I say attempted, I guess they are, but they're supposed to be like, I guess, like South African um, accents. So, I wonder if this woman, when she's the aunt, if her accent is still going to be there. We'll, we'll see about that one. And also, I'm quite positive that's a completely different train. Yeah, look at it. It's a completely different design. Ah, go off, whoa. Besides, I'm going to teach you how to flirt with doctors. Oh, no, no, no. Because the whole thing, you're a young woman. I'm like, well, she's like fucking 12. Yeah, young lady, not a young woman. She's like, I'm going to teach you to flirt with doctors at 12. Uh. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck. Did you see this? Look at this. It's been in our family for a long time. What the fuck was all that shit on her arm? Is she turning into a zombie? Why is she bleeding from the mouth? Why is this... Yeah, so she kind of was turning into a zombie. Looks like. What? She's kissing her. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Hooper paint on the poster. Oh my god. Ah, she's turning into a fucking Halloween prop. So... I'm guessing his soul went into the young girl or... I don't know, that's all I got so far, because she's dead after kissing her. Shouldn't be the other way around if you give someone the disease, or I don't know. He just slapped her! The priest just slapped her! Woohoo! You like the freaky stuff, huh? That's cool. The real time man or just in front of you guys? She's your mom's sister. Oh. She goes, who's Aunt Felice? She goes, your mum's sister. That's how aunts work. Fuck. That's some kind of personality clash. Okay. Uh, she got to meet her. She's like, oh, for fuck's sake, I've been avoiding you for 25 years. Fuck. Yeah, she got run over. Ah, she went flying through before she even got hit by a car. What? And also, she's looking at gunshots, so she was probably willing to shoot her sister up in her life. So, good thing she died. I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, like Final Destination. She ain't dead yet. The wheel. Ah. It's like, the running over would have been completely fine, but it's like, nah, let's fucking add some more to this. Like, you know what I mean? If that weren't enough. Now you die. God, her leg fell off. Like, now nah, she's dead. It's like, yeah. Like, I appreciate that extra scene, but it actually wasn't needed. But, yeah, if you're going to be adding, like, people with their legs and shit falling off, the more the merrier. Crack on. See, this is what I right? When it's my funeral and he does that on my grave, I wonder if my grave will instantly go up in flames. It'll be like, oh, I'm fucking dead or spuds. You sold your soul, mate. Like, you know what I mean? If anyone does, you know ever go to my funeral document it and you know I'll, I'll look I'll, I'll somehow look down on it but I'm, I'm curious about that like be for you sweetheart like I'm supposed to be feeling emotion here but the acting is so fucking wooden it's taking me out of it you know what I mean these books drive me I mean it's gotta be said right it said five months after the funeral this is the happiest both of them have been in the film J just saying here you go finally get to see her embarrassed I should have called I'm Felice Danbar. 
All right, she's kept up the accent. They've done it. Okay, that was going to be one of my major complaints. They've done it. Fair play to them. Respect. Amy. Uh, Amy's next in line for the blood curse or whatever, the, or the kiss curse or whatever the fuck. Like. Oh, so let's get out the way. Turn the water. It's going to happen. It's 100% going to happen. That's like a tiny bit of netting. Give her a fucking towel to dry off in. What the fuck? Hey. Look at this, everyone just lets themselves into this fucking house, like, you know what I mean? I get, like, having a nice communal thing, but Jesus Christ, if I was, like, just imagine Allah, you know, taking a shit or someone's less saying, mate, fucking Allah, you know what I mean? Privacy, please. Um, yeah, admittedly, maybe I shouldn't be shitting in the sink, but it's my sink, and I'll do what I want, all right? All right? Did he just give her a curfew to be on by six o'clock? Bet she did know stink. Because I'm told on that, if he means 6pm, that's some over the top, what the fuck. But if he's like 6am, it's like, you're a pretty cool dad. Like, you know, that's the early mornings is a witching hour. Don't think you want your daughter out there. Like, but, you know, if you're cool about it, I guess. Uh, early in the film, he goes, oh, come pay me a visit. She spends two seconds here. The boss calls him. And he goes, oh, see you around. And he goes, oh, come see me again. And he walks into this. I was just exercising. Ah, uh, look at him. Crack on. Things out. Yeah, you, you know, I can help you get rid of all of her fucking shit and just fully replace her with me, you know what I mean? I I she wastes no time, this woman. So she's just dropped something in the air, oh, a little lipstick, and her neck's got caught in there. So is that, like, just an accident? And, and the necklace is so thin, it would have ripped off by now anyway. This is fucking stupid, but, um... Ah, it's crushing her face, though. A little tiny necklace is gonna crush her face. Go on, let's see this Hellraiser shit. It's like, ah, look at this. Nothing's working. So is it like Final Destination, or is it like the woman can control? Look at this. The woman can control this, and this is what happens. Ah, little chunks of stuff. So I'm guessing she got cut up by an escalator somehow. Okay. Badly cut up. Oh, she's been cut up. She's not dead. I brought Amy home. Uh, she comes back from watch, being traumatised just to see her dad and the new piece packing up everything. Uh... I lost my mother too when I was your age. I know how it feels. I know how yeah, but the difference is your mum snogged you on the face and became a fucking Halloween prop. It's a big difference so she lost her mum. Her mum's leg fell off. So it kind of became a Halloween prop. So not that much difference actually. So now she's just got him involved in her job. As I came into his life, he's like, fuck, now, now you're making me do a fucking extra job. I got nothing going on. What the fuck? So I think that's her friend's glasses. So basically, she has a possession of yours. She can do some magic shit like that whole gay and thin necklace trapped in an elevator or some shit. Or escalator, whatever. Yeah! Look at this. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry, did I scare you? Yeah, not at all. I'd be like, ah, oh, fucking hell, just to the bed it is, like, you know. What are you looking for? Nothing. Uh, it's been this whole build up, like a tense build up. It's just fucking creaking doors, I like, This is actually labeled as a horror as well, I think. What? And we're like uh, halfway through the movie. Look at that. Ah, uh, just fucking dived out the fucking window. So I'm guessing that's a woman who shapeshifts and stuff. So she hasn't turned into a Halloween prop, so is it only work on your daughter when you kiss them and shit? Or the next in line, that kind of... Oh, whatever, it's incestual, that's all I need to say. <laughs> we know the heart. Ah, look at this. She's just imagining that, like, but that's quite funny. Oh, she got it. Tits out, I wonder if it's a body double. Oh, no, no, she's in the same frame. Uh, definitely the chud, like, 100%. Respect. Uh, she left the blood stain. Did she just have a period? Or something? I think so. That's... Minging? She's turning into a zombie. Just a birthmark. A birthmark? Love that. What's this STI like? You know what I mean? Oh, shit. I didn't wear nothing just then. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, he's looking at his dead wife now, and literally just after banging his sister. I couldn't tell if that was a look of like, yeah, me, do I try? She's so much hotter than you, or if it was like, as you should have the response of like, oh, fuck, I did that, didn't I? But I don't know, choice one on, on this occasion. 
She's just sneaked into the hotel she's staying at, and this is happening. <gasps> That's the fuck. So she controls like a cat. So it's not she's not actually the cat. She just controls the cat. And that's a big thing to send after you. If I had like rabies and like, you know, some new form of rabies would instantly fuck you. That's scary, but... Really, that was the idea you went for though? Ah, go on, bro. So just jump through the plastic. What a surprise. <laughs> ah, scratching him up while he's driving. Why don't you just drop the car and like just get the cat and just... Throw it up the car and carry on. I don't know. Ah, uh, look at this. This is really embarrassing. Ah, uh, look at this. You look like a critter. Ah, uh, and then he... Okay, fine, whatever. Better than being scratched to death by... a puppet, I guess. So every time she kills, her STIs get worse? Is that what happens? So why do you keep, why are you killing then in that case like just, I don't know, just don't kill and don't have that weird STI, just a thought, you know, it's definitely an option, right? Felice had become some kind of a witch. To her Felice had become some kind of a witch, alright. Hey, hey. Here we go, the priest is going to get involved like, let's see if she kills a priest. If you believed father I could never come in here. Ah, uh, if you believed I can come in here and do this, point though. I was just about to say, is God going to save him or just watch another one of his fucking followers die at the hands of fucking evil? <laughs> Yet again. I mean, i got to see the funny side of this. This woman's hot as fuck, like, and you're supposed to be scared of her. Like, I'd be like, nah, I'd be playing this game with her. Like, no, catch me. Oh, you caught me. Oh, you know what I mean? She'd be like, oh, come on. Are you just going to try? Nah, you, you got me. Got... Give me that kiss. You know what I mean? I'd lose all the time straight away. Well, duh. Ah, uh, look at this. Ah, uh, she just stabbed her, but oh. Uh, she's like, alright then. This. She don't care. Uh, alright, she's fine about it. Just saying, can you imagine the sex games you could have a bird if that's the case? Holy shit. So the priest is trying to go and warn the guy or some shit now. Fine. Why does his hand look fake as fuck? Straight away then, his hand was like... Something's going to happen to his hand, absolutely guaranteed. You can call me Mystic Mike because I predict these things. Yeah, look how fake that is. <laughs> ah, there you go, his hand just ignited. All right. Why did his hand ignite and not all of him? Here we take a look at mysteries never explained. So, only his hand went on fire and he's dead. Look at all the metal in his hand and stuff. Is that like Terminator's arm? But, like, don't get me wrong, like, it'd be nasty, but would you instantly die from just your arm going up in flames? I don't know. Like, right, so he's gone home to see this shit going on. What are you doing to my daughter? Ah, uh, good question. So she's going on saying, like, I don't have much time. I have to sacrifice your daughter so I can keep living. Like, that's a bit stupid then, because it's like, oh, well, I just sacrifice, like, the only bloodline, now. So, but then, you, every time you kill people, you go worse. I just didn't kill people, and none of this would have had to happen, like, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, look at that, it comes in, like, they're back in bed, she catches them. Ah, and this thing again. What? So, was the dad's excuse to fuck her? It was to go, oh, stay away from my daughter, I guess the only way is if I take her in a room and fuck you. I generally think that's what he was getting at. All right, mate, like, good excuse. That would, I thought that'd be cool. I was, I was just thinking about her. Uh, no, no, I weren't thinking that. No, that's actually terrible. I gotta scrap that. <laughs> well, should we just smash that thing and... Oh, here we go. The fucking chitty puppet attack. All right. Pathetic. Ah, she just stabbed her with a rake. Awesome. No, Dan, chuck it in there as well. Electrocute the fucker. That's hilarious. I usually love cats and dogs, but this is hilarious. It's on fire now. Ah. Lucky. That was the only goddamn puppet I had. Ah, look at this. She just rolled down. Okay, that's how she gets down quicker, I guess. Fine, if it works. You can't kill someone that's already dead. Do you want to bet? Shoot just straight in the fucking head. All right, let's see what happens here. 
She didn't lie, she's not dead yet. Is she? What do you want? A kiss. Daddy! Daddy, get your girl off me! Is she trying to kiss or puke in her mouth? It looks like she's got a massive lurgy and she's like, Bleh. you know what I mean? Oh, here we go, the parasite thing then. Give me a kiss! No! Look at this! He's just picking the back of his skin off. Okay, so he's jumped in the water with her. So she's got the chainsaw or the hedge cutter out. And she's jumped in the water with it. Wouldn't that be... Stop it working? And she stabbed her with it. But she got shot in the head earlier, so what's this going to do? Ah, look at that! No! So he's grabbed the little parasite thing now. There we go, he's ripped it out of her. Ah, she's aging rapidly or some shit now, like. Right. So he's gonna burn this thing already or what? Because he's gonna burn your hand doing that. So he's melted his hand and he hasn't instantly died like the priest. What's the difference? I don't know. Why did she jump back in the pool? You're a stupid dumbass. <laughs> Uh, Amy, oh no! And now she's on top of her after the explosion. It just faded out, so I thought that thing was still going to be swimming about, no. Okay, so that was The Kiss from 1988. Uh, thanks, Jason, for the recommendation, like. Um, so this one, yeah, it was, you know, a horror film. I'd classify, I guess, as a B-movie, but a bit different because Tri-Star Pictures, they, like, tend to be more of a higher-budget thing. So with a lot of Duddle Spuds, I tend to watch a lot of, like, more of the silly films. This was tone-wise serious. It wasn't, like, a self-aware funny one, which, you know, or shit like that I tend to do. So I went and going, all right, then it's going to be a usual better quality than, you know, I usually watch. Voice acting and the overdubbing was honestly just as bad, if not worse, than quite a lot of films I've already covered. So that was surprising for, like, a tri-star picture, you know what I mean? Uh, the woman who I did call it, yeah, hot, hot, you know what I mean? Um, the whole premise of it, so we'll get to that, really. It turns out in a bloodline, they cursed for this thing, and Auntie from Auntie has passed it down. And then they... But then this is fucking stupid, right? Because right in the beginning, she passes it down to the woman... To the young girl and dies becomes a Halloween thing, but she explicitly says at the end of this, "I'm only doing it to her so I can prolong my life." Or does she? Or is that the parasite talking and saying, "I got to jump from body to body"? But I never explicitly said nothing about that. But whatever. Um. Yeah, like it felt like it was it was taken seriously, so it was a bit like meh. It was quite long for what it was, like an hour and 41 minute film, longer than needed to be. Um, as I said, the um, the auntie in her definitely got the chud, deserved it. Um, it was just kind of boring, though, to be honest. Like, you know, I mean, it takes, like, honestly, nothing, like, the auntie don't really come in until, like, you know, I knew it was building up story. But I think it was, like, the 45 minute mark when they actually bring in the auntie. And then there's a, like, you know, oh, shit, okay, so she's finally in it. But then it takes a little bit for anything to go on. It's like, She's killing off, like, not even killed off characters. She just injures her friend who disappears from the film. And then she actually does kill the love interest uh, and the priest. And I think the neighbor, the neighbor died. No, no, the neighbor survived this. So I think that's all the people die. It's not a high body count, this film, anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so as far as the film goes, honestly, like, it was kind of boring. I think, like, the whole storyline and stuff like that was. Mm, pretty boring and shit overall but anyway enough about that Let, let's get to the moral the real question is like if this was your auntie as hot as that you know would you let her give you the kiss i know like let's be honest no like let, let's get to it you know like you know i wouldn't know but she's hot i'm just saying it's them kinds of testing morality, isn't it? It's like, no cameras here, no one's like, eh. no, no, can't do this, like, you know, but just saying, like, you know what I mean? Just saying. Um, I'll get her. I'm going to have to give this one a dud because I just didn't enjoy it, really. Like, you know, actually, like, about midway through, I was like, ah, you know, for what it is, just doing this thing. All right, it might not be my cup of tea, but I will give this spud by the end because it did its thing, even though I found it a bit boring, but it's just too boring, and then it was, gosh, shit, as it went on, really, and, like, the whole thing at the end was kind of stupid. The blowing up in the fucking pool, and then the woman's on top of her, even though she was in the pool when it blew up, and 
Dunkey and the Parasite just disappears at that stage. It's just really lame, like, showdown as well and shit like that. You know what I mean? The whole thing was very, like, I don't know, low-grade energy is the best way to describe it. I've seen the acting as such, just the whole, like, oh, we're not getting more of that, a bit more of that. That's what I wanted every time. Oh, we get a bit more. It's just never... It seemed like tickle where he was going, and he like, that's the most we're giving you. We're like, oh, and it's just kind of boring, really. I couldn't really recommend it to anyone. Like, you know what I mean? The woman was hot in there, but... You know, that was pretty much most positives I can give it, if I'm honest. You know, appreciate for the recommendation, Jason, but... Yeah, I gotta give this one a dud. Just wasn't a big fan of it, basically. I found it very, pretty boring, you know what I mean? Not really much else to say. It wasn't a terribly... Co- it wasn't like it was incompetently done as a film. Really, some of the voice acting was, and the whole end part was pretty shit, but... Yeah, it was boring. It seemed, it seemed like something like... There would be on them, like, drama things that like, pass as a horror. Like, you know what I mean? Just one of them things you just watch, like, a 9 o'clock one, and go, oh, this fucking TV movie. That's what it feels like to me, you know, but... If you've seen this film, let me know what you thought. Anything to suggest, let me know. Otherwise, I'd be Manalco Mac. Thanks for joining. Until next time, peace out. Uh, uh, Maniacal Mac. Mac.